guys, it's Mike. What's up, everyone? It's Dan. And welcome back to ISA TV. In case you guys haven't caught on yet, every Thursday, me and Mike are back with a brand new video about the Asian American experience. It's us going out into the community, meeting really cool people, doing features, all about being Asian in America. And today we have an awesome guest, Kelvin Yu, who plays Brian in Master of None. And we're actually in the Bob's Burger Studio where Kelvin is the writer. Right. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, that's awesome. We're really, really happy to be here. Thank you so much for making time. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, so today, because we're here with Kelvin and you play the uh, the hot best friend <laughs> on <laughs> Master of None, yeah. we thought that a good conversation to have today would be about other hot Asian males in media. Because yeah. you're, you're, you're right now, you are the it's pinnacle, so right of, now on this couch, yeah. what I pinnacle of Asian males right <laughs> now. Let's get up in the morning just talk hot dudes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's, let's jump right let's into it. it. Let's actually preface this. So, uh, Kelvin, why don't you talk a little bit more about your character, Brian, on the show? Because uh, he's way more than just a hot, uh, hot looking face, guys. <laughs> he's way more than just a piece of meat over yeah. here. Brian Chang is uh, Aziz's character, Dev's best friend, along with uh, Lena Waite's character and Eric Wareheim's character. It's, he's an interesting take on uh, on an Asian American guy on screen, which we maybe haven't seen that much. Mm -hmm. um, I like to think of Brian as me with roughly 600% more confidence. He's a sort of a counterpoint to Dev's. What we talked about is sort of a paradox of choice, mm -hmm. um, kind of paralyzed by anxiety of the five million places to get ramen. Brian, on the other hand, sort of cruises through life without any friction, just like a, a greasy seal, mm -hmm. <laughs> just like slip and sliding through life. <laughs> life is his oyster, so mm -hmm. it's definitely not how I go through life, but it's, it's fun to be that guy for a little while. And your character is actually based off Alan Yang, who is yeah. uh, uh, one of the co-creators of the show. That's right. And then you got the role like two weeks before they started filming too. Yeah. And so how did you, uh, obviously, you've got a full-time job here. How were you able to, I guess, make that adjustment so quickly? By the grace of God and the grace of my bosses here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they, they were incredibly generous. Lauren Bouchard, who created this show, with, mm -hmm. and uh, Jim Dotrieve, who the show runs it with him. Um, they allowed me to go do it. It was very last minute. I actually uh, was not going to audition. Um, uh, my agent sent me a text saying, hey, put yourself on tape tonight. Mm -hmm. And I just, I wasn't busy. I just didn't feel like it. So I, <laughs> I told him no. And he's like, just do it. And I did it, I sent it, and the next morning I got a text saying, you know, do you think you could fly to New York? I've seen some actually like um, interviews, a lot, of, a lot of people asking you about a potential romantic interest for Brian in the, in the next season. What yeah. do you think about that? Do you want something like that? Sure, of course. <laughs> I think it's it's not something you see all the time. And I know Alan's been really uh, public about this too. You, I mean, how often have you seen an Asian man kiss anybody on, on mm -hmm. TV or on screen. And I know that seems in some ways sort of ostensibly trivial, but if you if you think about what that means, there was like some BuzzFeed super, super cut of young black kids looking at Obama. Just like the look in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And just and just if you just put aside his like policies and and whether or not you agree with whatever he's done over eight years, you just imagine the effect he's had on like young black kids. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Um, so the more diversity that you see on screen, I don't think we can quantify what that means to young people to be see, to be able to see a, a variety of different things happening on screen, including a romance between an Asian guy and you know somebody else. It just doesn't happen very often. Yeah. So, so speaking of that, let's go into. Uh, so we wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, positive images of Asian males on TV. Yeah. Like other other like sex symbols that are within the Asian American male community. Yeah. What, well, what there, do you guys think of? I think they're almost exclusively. Brian, um, that's it. Bank of America commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 those are the sexiest. Because Bank of America commercials, Jeremy Lin, and then Country Panda. I yes. think he's actually the hottest Asian male. <laughs> no. who's, that, that, who's, who's played by yeah, Jack Black. Jack People Black, Magazine yeah. listed him as the hottest Asian male. <laughs> it's funny to think that it's literally limited. Like there's like probably, yeah. you can count them on one hand. All right, who do we got? So we, got we got Daniel Dick Cam. Yeah. All right. Um, Pretty good, pretty good start. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with Brian on uh, Master Nine because okay. he's here with us right now. All right. We have Randall Park and Jong. Kyung 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 Lee. Lee. Mm -hmm. Mike's buddy from the Maze Runner. Uh huh. There's a guy named Will Yun Lee, Rick Yoon, friend of mine named Ivan Shaw, who you will see in an upcoming show on HBO. Okay. Called Insecure. I think we did it. I think we named <laughs> all. And you know what? We got eight. Yeah, eight. It's pretty good ratio. There's yeah. two billion Asian people in the world. <laughs> eight Asian dudes you can name. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let us know what you think below. If you can name any other Asian dudes <laughs> that uh, that belong on that list. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's kind of what you were saying before. Right now, it's so not part of the culture, and yeah. like that subliminal culture that maybe it's not even being written about because it's just not even thought of. It starts in the writer's room. That's yeah. what I've always felt. You know, like you know, in my private writing moments, I'm not thinking of great roles for um, young men from Sri Lanka. I'm not a guy mm -hmm. from Sri Lanka. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't come to me instinctively. And so if you have writer's rooms all over the city or all over the country that are full of non-Asian people, it it's not by any malicious intent that they're not yeah. writing mm -hmm. roles for Asians. They just It's mm -hmm. not instinctive to them. And then when you force them to or when you mandate them to write roles for African Americans or Asian Americans or LGBT, um, they're never going to come out authentic. As an actor, uh, how many of the roles would you say are, are are like Brian, where they're like just normal guys versus that stereotype? People talk about stereotyping Asians and Asian males. I think that a lot of um, roles in general are stereotypes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just they're looking for the fat guy or they're looking for, yeah. you know, the old lady or whatever. They're, so bad writing is just stereotyping in general. So mm -hmm. I, I, I pin that less on like, some, I mean, I, it is racism, but I pin it more on just bad writing. I mean, if you're asking about leading men, it still needs work for Asian guys. <laughs> you, when you look at Leonardo DiCaprio, you can say at one point he's doing River Phoenix, or he's doing, um, at this point, I think he's doing Jack Nicholson. In a good way, I, I, I enjoy it. But like, yeah. if you're an Asian American guy, like there's, who are you doing? There's nobody to model what mm. you're, you know, there's no paradigm. And audiences don't have anybody to compare you to and any mold to fit you to. So it's both good and bad. It's a little weird, you know, to try to figure out what it is that's going to click with an audience. But um, I'll take it. All right, so thank you again so much, Calvin, for inviting us into your office and having yes. this great conversation. And my home, I live here. Oh, this is, oh my God, yeah. oh, great place. We're on my We're bed We're right on his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Same joke. Uh, is, is there anything else you want to add? Check out Master of None next year, and uh, Bob's Burgers is on forever. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> well, Master of None season two is happening. Se it's season like two is happening. happening, yes. Yes. You heard it here first. <laughs> And not online, like you probably already did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to tune in every single Thursday. Me and Mike are gonna be back again for another video about the Asian American experience. It's really cool being able to sit down with people like Kelvin and getting to find out what it really means to be Asian in America. More features, more videos coming soon. Subscribe to ISA TV. Follow us all online. All the socials are in the box. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. So Kelvin, thank you again for joining us today. Uh, me and Mike really want to do this video because we're really big fans of Master and None. Mm. Um, and we think like, I, I, it's such an impactful show on the community. It was really cool to be able to do this interview and be able to talk to you a little bit more about your character. So thank you. Great, and I'm really stoked to meet guys like you that are out there putting things on the internet and connecting us to the people out there. Yeah, and so hopefully, I think we've got some links all around us right now. Uh, there's another box probably right next to us. Make sure to check out more videos from ISA TV. And uh, make sure, Kelvin's got some links in the, the subscribe box too below. So go click on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to tune in again to more ISA TV. Mike, do you have anything fun to say too? Uh, we're all masters of everything today. So yeah. go out there, be a master.